All right. NVIDIA fires back at hackers by encrypting one terabyte of stolen data and successfully ransom their systems. See, I think this is kind of funny. This is like a turnabout is fair play type story, right? Yesterday's cyber war attack at NVIDIA. Also, this is kind of fascinating. I kind of want to know how they um, ransom where their attackers. Yesterday's cyber war attack at NVIDIA seems to have been initiated by a group of hackers based in South, Af South America, as alleged by underground group VX Underground. NVIDIA fired back at hackers by encrypting its stolen data and installing malware on hackers' machines. VX Underground states that LAPSU dollar sign, an extortion group operating out of South America, is claiming responsibility for the cyber war attack that infiltrated NVIDIA's servers a few days ago. It is claimed that over one terabyte of NVIDIA's proprietary data was exfiltrated. However, NVIDIA was quick to react and successfully managed to breach the hackers with its own response. All right. So VX Underground, LAPSU dollar sign extortion group, a group operating out of South America, claimed to have breached NVIDIA and exfiltrated over one terabyte of proprietary data. LPSU claims NVIDIA performed a hack back and states NVIDIA has successfully ransomed their machines. <laughs> Intel and photos current courtesy of so-and-so. The same group claims that NVIDIA performed a hack back by not only encrypting all of its data that was stolen, but by attacking the hackers with ransomware. The ransomware is alleged to be installed on the private machine used by the hackers, but they were able to make a backup of the files, which is currently a rumor. An NVIDIA spokesperson said, We are investigating an incident. We don't have any additional information to share at this time. Once again, based on the report, previous report from the Telegraph, it was stated that the hackers were able to access NVIDIA's mailing server, which is why the system was unresponsive over the last few days. And they were also allegedly able to install malware on NVIDIA's software distribution server. The only response from NVIDIA so far has been that they are currently investigating the true nature of this attack, but in any case, this seems to like a case of hackers getting a dose of their own. You can see pictures from the hacking group below claiming how NVIDIA are criminals. Wait. You can see pictures from the hacking group below claiming how NVIDIA are criminals for installing ransomware on their machines while they are the ones who conducted the attack and stole confidential files in the first place. Haha. -ha. At least they did it inside of a VM. Everyone, NVIDIA are criminal. Someday ago, we conduct attack against NVIDIA and stole one terabyte of data. Today, we woke up and found that NVIDIA scum had attacked our machine with ransomware. Luckily, we had backup. But why the fuck they think they can connect to our private machine and install ransomware? I don't know, maybe because you hack them? Maybe turn it about is fair play? Well, that's the whole story. Oh. Uh, that's because the US, Canada, and Europe are putting sanctions on. Well, that, that, that's part of the conversation. AMD and Intel stop shipping products to Russia. They should cease shipping customer products. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I don't see anything interesting in the comments there. I thought this article was going to be a lot more interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't really share it with us any data or anything about how the hack was, uh, the ransom was carried out. I mean, it'd be kind of interesting to know how they did it, but oh well. Okay. Let's see. What else is there out there? Well, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll cut it here.